Welcome everyone. Hello, Jose J. Garcia with Garcia Mahomes University here. So I am having fun. I am. I love the smell of new mobile homes, as I'm sure you do. But hey, even when you rehab them, you got all brand new material, new paint. Paint is huge. We're gonna talk about paint in upcoming videos, by the way. There is paint that can kill germs. Yep, you heard it. Germs, virus, all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna get into that. That's for another video. The reason why I'm having fun is because you should have fun. And you do have fun when you when you do what you love. So I am gonna take y'all around to this beautiful double wide. Look at this, spacious. I love the floor. I can slide on it, as you saw. So how many attempts did that take? <laughs> So again, I'm checking out the countertops, everything. Beautiful design, mm, you know. Now here's the beauty about when you are buying a new mobile home, because you know, you walk into this one and well, I don't really like the countertop, eh, kind of not my color, it looks a little square off, it's a little cheap. Okay, well, when you go to a mobile home dealership, you got plenty more to choose from. So if you don't like one, go to the next one and the next one, see how they can work with you. I prefer to look at double wides, because it seems like between the two, and that could just be the dealerships that I'm looking at, but uh, between a single and a double wide, obviously the double wide costs more money, costs more to move, etc. It's more spacious, but I, I feel like they do more upgrades on the double wides before they do single wides. Could just be me. One thing that I saw, and it's a little dark in here, I hope you can see, but tubs. This is now your ordinary size tub. I love it, I do. You know, for the longest time, you've overhear me in some of the videos is tub sizes, you gotta go to special stores, special designs, you know, etc. Not anymore. This is something that you can pick up at your local home improvement store. So I love that, I love the size. The shower, spacious. You can walk around and that's what you want when you do that. Same goes for the closet. And again, I hope you can see, well, I have a light. There we go. <laughs> I don't know how much that helped. But then you got a closet. I mean, look at this. This is an actual walk-in closet and that's what you want. You want spacious. Keep up with me, light. There we go. So, beautiful. I like it. I love the spacious, the size. This is a three bedroom, two bath, typical double wides. You know, when you get into the double wides, you start getting into that uh, three bedroom, two bath, four bedroom, three bath it just depends you know it depends on of course the size of your family but i wouldn't want to go more than about a three two in a double wide you can get that in a single wide but you can imagine how much more spacious a three two in a double wide would be right here is another shower here we go another tub stand up and again normal size so beautiful vanity they did a very nice job on that i like it I like the carpet that they use, and I typically don't care for carpet anymore, but just the way they, it blends in, and a lot has to do with the walls, the, the color that they decided to cover this with. You know, I hope these are gone one day. I understand why they're here. It's sections off, but there's got to be a better way they can do this. I've suggested to some dealerships, you know, run back, and that's another video that will be, co will be coming up, and that's where I'm actually at a manufacturer. So where they actually build the mobile homes, we will make a video there, and that's a lot of questions I got to ask them. But this here, get rid of them, put something that blends in. You're still gonna see a strip, I understand that, but just, I, I don't like, you can see, strip, strip, strip. Nah, just makes it look cheap, and there's no need for it because it's such a beautiful home. And next bedroom. And I'm wrong. This is a four bedroom, three bath. I'm walking. I've been looking at so many. Going to the next one. So the rooms aren't small, but this is about an average 16 by 80 bedroom. If you if you know what I, I mean. It's good size, but it, it doesn't have that extra large of a double wide feel when you do that. The other side of the mobile home did feel that way. Here's the other shower, bathroom, nice vanity again. Nice walls, and then your other one. I don't know how I confused that. That was next door I was at. I was taking some other pictures next door. So, again, nice size, but you don't have that. I, I like to feel breathe, if you will, kind of. You know, you can expand. You can put bigger bed and hmm, smaller living room here. 
dining kitchen where you saw beautiful appliances they use cabinets i like i like how they structure them to design them in this one some mobile homes i've been looking at even some brand new ones i've noticed that uh i don't like what the way they structure them here i mean one the color here is beautiful goes with the actual countertop the sink everything just flows it feels like this looks a little cheap i don't want to call it cheap i just I feel like it sticks out and not in a great way. So they could have done better on that one, but something that we can suggest. Um, again, walls, I love this color. This neutral grayish color. If you got kids and they like to draw and accidentally do draw, eh, you might be able to get rid of it easier. So, and again, I cannot talk about this floor enough. I love, love, love vinyl. It is clean. It is it is cleaner. It is easier to clean them than carpet. That's for sure. It does not trap all the nasty stuff in between. Now, of course, granted, any little mess you're gonna see it. But hey, it's time to clean up. Is the way I see it. So, uh, if you got if you have children, get them to do it. There you go. <laughs> Let's go into the laundry section here. Spaces like I like. Okay. Oh wow. You want to look at this? And breaker box. We'll talk about that one. So here in this section, we got the dryer. Well, hang on, because you got the connections there, but you got that, are they expecting you to put? So see, I, again, and it's all how the home is structured, right? I, I, I want to feel like there is space. I don't want to have one on top of the other bunched up stuff, and that's the way I'm getting in the rooms. Not the master, the master was very nice, but I'm getting this feel again, washer dryer. That's single wide, like. Now you got this room right on this other side, and it's a little dark. Beautiful, look at all the spacious. You can put so many things in here. This might as well be another closet. But why not maybe put the washer on this side and the dryer on that side? Maybe a ironing board in here somewhere. You see what I'm saying? So just think, it's okay. I mean, it would be side by side, but I just, when you have a double wide and you have this much space, use it. You see what I mean? So, and then of course the breaker box. I don't have to review this one. I don't need an electrician for this one because it's new. Love it. Love when something is new. Now, one thing that I have not seen and I did not get to ask at the previous dealership, if you saw my previous video on this, was HUD data plate. I know that these homes are new, obviously. They come with titles, documents, everything you need. But if I had to review the HUD data plate, why is that no longer being put inside the closets? Because it's typically where you find them. It's in the closet, uh, in the main bedroom closet, countertops, kitchen counter, bottom counter. It's not in. It's not inside the mobile home. So that's a question I did not get to ask, and I am going to ask. Now, again, something like this brand new, you know, obviously everything checks out. But when you're looking at older, more reused unit, you know, that's one way to verify is you want to find that HUD data plate, that sticker. So... That does it for this video. I'm gonna look at a couple more mobile homes, a couple single ones I wanna check out. I am currently located in central Georgia where I came to look at both used and new inventory. And I might get a chance to look at one that needs to be moved. I don't know yet. So a lot of things happening. We're back up and going full. I am in a rush. That's the way I like to work. So that's the way I do. Till next time, thank you for watching and be sure to check out uh, GarciaMHG.com if you're looking for coaching. All right, thank you.